Hey guys, tonight I'm going to show you a quick little Halloween recipe that I thought y'all might find useful this week if you have carved your pumpkins and are looking for something to do with the leftover pumpkin seeds. A very easy way to separate them is to put the pulp and the pumpkin seeds in a bowl of ice water and let it sit for a while. And then it'll make it easier to separate the seeds from the pulp when you're ready to cook these. So after you do that, you want to let them dry overnight because they're just going to cook a lot better when they're dry. And then tonight I'm making some sweet pumpkin seeds. So I'll show you the ingredients that I've added to mine so you can try this at home yourself. So what you want to do is take your bowl of fresh seeds that are dry. They've been dried overnight. This is the next batch I'm about to cook. And then I put cinnamon, pumpkin pie spice, Vanilla extract, this is the secret. And sea salt, you definitely need to have sea salt in yours. And then I also put brown sugar, and the brown sugar is what caramelizes the pumpkin seeds when you cook them in the skillet. So I'm using a cast iron skillet, and it gives a nice crunch to them when they're done. So what you want to do is put your skillet on medium heat to start out with. So mine's on a five right now. And you want to put several little slices of butter. This is just unsalted butter in your skillet and let it melt. Once the butter has started to melt, you want to stir it around your pan. And then you want to add in your pumpkin seeds after you've already tossed them with the other ingredients. And you just want to saute them for about 10 minutes. You really just need to stand over and, um, and watch them. If you have less than I do, obviously they're going to cook quicker. If you have it at a higher temperature, they will cook faster. But you run the risk of burning them. So you really want to keep it on a medium heat. And yeah, once they turn a nice golden color, and you can see the brown sugar caramelizing on them. Some of these in the back are probably a good ones to look at. Then you'll know that they're about done. So you can pull one out, let it cool on your counter, and then taste test it. And if it's crunchy, it is ready to be eaten. So that is it for my quick little Halloween how-to on pumpkin seeds, you guys. I hope y'all enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Leave a comment below and let me know if you try cooking pumpkin seeds at home and how you cook yours. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.